Hey folks, good morning. How's everybody doing out there? Rolling with my man here in the taxi. Had too many places to go today. You know, usually we take the tricycle, but uh, you can't take the tricycle on the Clark. Same way over in Subic, you can't take a trike on to SBMA. That's the rule. So if you want to go anywhere over there, call up my man uh, Jimmy here in the taxi and we roll out. So it's one of those days. We got a few places to be, places to go. Not exactly sure where the day's going to take us. I'd like to say thank you for joining us on today's video. And today I'm shooting on a big Sony camera. Instead of grabbing that little GoPro, which is just way too easy, or pulling the cell phone out of my pocket, you know, which is way too easy. Nah, let's go with proper audio and a proper camera today. So uh, anyhow, we're out and about. It's a hot day, but there's a few clouds in the sky. You know, probably an afternoon shower. You know, typical Miami weather here during the rainy season. And when it's when it's not raining, it's hot. So anyhow, if you're not a subscriber on our channel, right there, bottom right hand corner of your screen, if you hit that overstay road sign, get on board my train, I'd certainly appreciate it. Alright, coming into this little area right here, there's always a lot of action going on. But as you can see, the high sun runs everybody inside. It really does. That lady got some long hair. All right, got this young gentleman right here pushing that cart out there scrapping. Got Lance Armstrong on the bicycle. Beautiful day, man, on a scooter right there. He's on a mission. Roll strong. He's actually got pedals on there, so if he runs out of juice, he can pedal that thing. Or maybe the pedals recharge the battery. I don't know. I don't know if it's got a chain to the back wheel or if the pedals are just a recharging mechanism. Cause I ain't never had one of them jobbers. All right, navigate the first traffic circle here, in front of the KFC. Amlet said, "Whoa, dog, I'm coming through." Now, folks, that's a typical ambulance here in the Philippines. Usually, it's just a, a van. You look in the back of there, there ain't nothing, maybe a stretcher, uh, a couple chairs. It's, it's just a van. It looks like an ambulance on the outside. Now, that one may fool me, but typically, uh, EMS here is nothing but a van. Uh, you know, they can get, well, it, it doesn't even really help getting through traffic because the traffic's just so gridlocked, but. You open up the back of that ambulance, it's not what you're used to seeing uh, from the west. It's differences. These little places over here, off to the starboard side of the aircraft, car door repair and car tent. Believe it or not, you can pull your car up on the side of the road right there and say your uh, power windows don't work or your door locks are messed up. Those guys will rip the door apart right there on the side of the road and they'll fix it for you. You know, and the fee is nominal compared to what we're paying. We're used to paying mechanics in the West. So they don't have a big elaborate shop. I mean, they're like shade tree mechanics, but they get the job done. You're, you pull over the side of the road, they fix your problem, you give them a few pesos and keep rolling. I mean, it's too convenient. No need to make an appointment, uh, waiting big long lines. They're just sitting out there waiting. And along this, this highway here, you know, it eventually leads to the LTO and you'll have more and more of these types of things like that. I don't know if I would want to get my windows tinted because uh, what the wind's blowing, there's debris in the air. I don't know. I think if I wanted to get my windows tinted, I'd probably prefer somewhere in a closed garage. But fixing a car door, yeah, no big deal. And this is my traffic circle here with the dancing traffic director. He's nowhere to be found. Well, they're over there on the far left, but they're not engaged. And coincidentally, the traffic isn't backed up. Funny how that happens. Okay, my friends, we're back underway. What do you got here, little lady? 
doing a little scrapping off to the starboard side of the aircraft. That's the beautiful Mount Orion, if you're not familiar with this area. It's a strata volcano. Big old load of beer. It's a red horse right there. My goodness. Off to the port side is the Casino Filipino. I went in there years ago. Okay, there's Sullivan's Bar off to the starboard side of the aircraft. Shout out to all the crew working in there. Lovely ladies. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. And there's the entrance to the world famous Walking Street, folks. What's happening at the end of Walking Street? Not much, because that sun is beating down right there. Ain't much going on. There you go. There was your glimpse of the world famous Walking Street. Beautiful Astro Park, but again, sunshine equals no people. Very few folks out there. And there's a look over towards the SM. SM Clark. Welcome to Clark Freeport Zone. Ah, there's a Great Wall of China. I always show you all a view from the other side. But this is the beautiful side here. So, <laughs> most of my footage kind of gives it a bad rap. Because if you look at this side, it's nice and beautiful. I'll still call it the Great Wall of China. As it's a very linear shaped building. And it's a wall. My footage over there on the back side doesn't do it any justice, but uh, over on this side, it is kind of pretty with the glass on there. All right, coming up to the checkpoint here at Clark. And if you're riding in a taxi, they usually pop the trunk for security. So just be prepared, that's normal. Just checking to make sure you don't have 20 bar girls stuffed in there. Trying to smuggle them over to Subic. To the right side of the aircraft here is Clark Veterans Cemetery. And you'll notice the US flag and the Philippine flag, they fly on the same plane off of that flagpole. And then we have the uh, Mercedes building off to the starboard side of the aircraft. Mercedes-Benz, beautiful office building. Right next to a McDonald's. More construction going up. Looks like another office building next to the Jollibee. And then uh, got a couple of, uh, well, it's a Petron station back here. Pretty good size operation. And Ford of Clark. Kia Motors. Nice big truck blocking my view. Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, and Hyundai. And then you get the pancake house, yellow cap pizza, and the coffee bean. Right, roll through this little shaded tunnel here, so to speak. Always light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, now off to the starboard side of the aircraft. That's uh, Clark International. Airport, former Clark Air Base. I don't know how much you can see, but there's the airport. So if you're flying to Clark, that's where you'll be coming into right there. <laughs> what you see for us, G? What you see, buddy? What you see, son? Metro Jet is in that facility right there. Well, at least that's what the sign says. SIA Engineering, Philippines. And welcome, Air Force City. You know, you come on, on Clark or even over there. SBMA, you see these nice big grassy areas. 
you know, think about it here. You don't you don't see a lot of open areas like that, open grassy areas. Beautiful place to go out there and run. Clark Wine Center. Wine shop. I might like to go over there and check that out. You know, I go back to drinking. I mean, I love the taste of wine. So I, I just change over and be a, from a beer connoisseur, just stick strictly to wine. Drink wine at night when I'm cooking instead of my beer. That way I don't get too crazy. Now we just played past the restaurant off to the port side over there, and I think it's called Spanglish. Assuming that's some type of Tex-Mex restaurant. And it looks like doing some construction here. Or renovation, one of the two. On that big old building right there in front of the Jollibee. That's a casino? <laughs> Alright, so Jimmy said it's a casino, but that shows you how much. Oh, Royce Casino, soon to open. Right here at uh, Santos and Rojas. Wow, big casino. Like Rolls Royce. That shows you how much I know about Clark. I just don't come over here much. There's Jolly Bee right there. I'm looking at both sides here. There's a BPI, an office building. On the other side of the road here, you got warehouse space for rent. Philippine National Bank. So nice when you get over in here because it just like takes you to America. Because you know, us gringos, we laid this place out. So you know, if you if you just look at the small details, like there's proper sidewalks, curbs, all that good stuff. Sometimes it's nice to just, you know, if you've been over here for a long time, just hang out on Clark or SBMA. It just has that familiar feel to it. Folks on all three decks up there. What's that building right there, man? Do you know? It's a factory. Some type of factory. Got office parks. Corner Cafe Bakery, all kind of good stuff right in there. Shangri-La Chinese restaurant. Oh wow, beautiful ladies. 365 Dream Mart. Are those condos? Yeah. yeah. Then off into the distance, we got some condos right there. Do you know the name of those? Uh, this is the Sharp. Sharp. Sharp? Yeah. Sharp Condo. Sharp condos. Let's see, folks. Look, just take a look down through there. How open that is. You want to go there? Uh, yeah, we can, can we go that way? Yeah. All right, so we'll go that way. But just take a look how open that road is and how clean it is. Yeah. And you know, compared to where we just come from, it's like we stepped into another country. And in actuality, you did because you know this base was built. Uh, you know, again, by Americans, and was laid out American style, U.S. Air Force style. And so everything that's built onto it is built on the American layout slash infrastructure. Mostly Chinese and Korean folks that live in these condos. The whole building from the Air Force Times. Take a look at those for some of you who were here back in the day. Here you go, Clark Air Base, Bicentennial Park, and Recreation Area. And you know what? I'd love, I'll bring the kids over here because that's like an American style playground right there. Yeah. And we will have a big old picnic over there and spend the day. Because you can come here in the middle of the, of the day, look at all the shades over there, the shady areas. Oh, and they got a nice pavilion right there. 
Okay, that's Sharp Hills. Welcome to Sharp Hills Condos. This is the uh, Rocky Hills and I don't know, I mean, Sun Valley. We go up here, up there, okay? Okay. You can see all, all the cars. You can see everything? Yeah, right there. Now all these are Clark uh, bike lanes. Oh, they're, oh, they're checking speed. Yeah. Oh, 60. So those guys are out there running radar, apparently. They got a hold of some radar equipment. Golf course. Okay, film. Okay, so anyhow, we got some condos off to the right side. And you know what? This is where we're going to go. I need to go to that Hilton, but not now, on the yeah. way out. Car. Yeah, I don't know if it's an accident or if they're just Singapore school Clark. Oh, right here, buddy. Look at that. That's beautiful. Can we stop right in here for a minute? Yeah. Folks, now I don't know if this is uh, going to do any justice, but I can tell you my ears are popping. And so we're at an elevation right now. We're such an elevation change, my ears will pop. Just look out through there, and I'm gonna zoom in for a second here. But uh, I got some golfers. Maybe this, maybe this is what they don't want me to film. Got Donald Trump down here and Duterte playing golf together. I don't know. But let me just zoom in here. I got another asshole telling me to just put the camera down. Okay, all right, so this is good right here. That water park, and I want to take the kids over there to that water park. And I got some folks here on the golf course. Now I got to go because jackass number three, this is fucking unreal. The dude's running and getting his radio and jump, we're gonna jump on his motorbike and this time I'm gonna tell him to fuck off. Don't come over here, man. God damn, I'm trying to enjoy a view. Okay, go, man. This dude's jumping on his motorbike and getting his radio. I'm gonna have to cut some people out yeah. here. Yeah, just go. You can outrun his little piece of shit. Scooby-Doo Mio. Anyhow, it's a beautiful view, but you know what? If you come on Clark, leave your cell phone in your pocket. Uh, well, what's the big deal? This ain't Scorebird's Bikini Contest. My goodness, it's looking off the damn side of a mountain. What? what a... All right, so here, what is this right here, buddy? Golf course. This is the golf course? Sun Valley Golf Course. There you go, Sun Valley Golf Course. That's a beautiful course right there. So if you want to play golf, uh, come on over here and tell the Marco sent you. Just look at that, man. You're just overlooking everything here. What a beautiful view. Folks, if you want to play some golf, this is the place to do it right here. Just for the views. Hello, how are you? Good, it's all good. Uh, you must be go down. Why do I have to go down? What if I want to play golf? Uh, they only told me. You can't catch Papa Bear! Okay, so... Alright, so this is the golf course here. Uh, so, if you want to play golf... Uh, it's not allowed here. Okay, just, just go down, man. That's it. Just go down. We're leaving, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. Anyhow, beautiful golf course up here on top of this mountain. The views are spectacular. Uh, it's just absolute gorgeous. Um, I don't know how much the green fees are, but I'll try to put them on the screen there. But wow. If you come over here, you tell them I sent you, and you make sure you film everything, because that, that's just that's just a little bit ridiculous, gentlemen. Come on. Fucking Christ. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. What's the big deal? Yeah. 
look, look, I understand if we're in a private place. It's your private place of business. I got it. I understand you don't want me filming a bikini contest. All right, okay, got it. You don't want me to film on Walking Street with all the ladies standing around. I got it. But I'm trying to film mountains and a golf course, and I'm going over to the Hilton to make me a reservation, and this is my life on the street, on a piece of land developed by my ancestors, and you piss me off. This dude right here is the one who ran to his motorbike, ran to his radio like I'm some type of damn criminal. I'm not putting the camera down, buddy. I'm leaving, but I'm not putting the camera down. We look like criminals. I'm in a taxi. I'm, I'm wearing a nice collared shirt. I don't look like a bum. My old lady's in the back with two kids. Do we look like criminals? That's all right. You can't make this shit up. Fuck you. I'll film you too. Uh, I'm starting to get it. Okay, am I, am I starting to put two and two together? This is a Chinese and Korean area. And I see Chinese writing all over that sign right there. And that pisses me off even worse. Is that why I can't film? Because there's Chinese and Korean folks in here and you don't want me to film their fucking activities? That makes me want to film even more. I'm not stopping now. Maybe they have something there, right? What you want to hide over here, my Chinese friends? Is that where all the military age males live over here in this compound? No, I'm being sar a sarcastic asshole. <laughs> but <laughs> why can't I film? And I'm in the Chinese area. I know what it is. It's because Xi Jinping owes me $17 million. And he probably owns this shit over here. Easy, son. I don't even know if these are real cops. Are these real cops or what? No. They're not real cops, right? Yeah. They don't got guns. They don't look like cops. They're basically, yeah, security, security force. Guard. They're security force security force the only thing they can do is call the police and ask me to leave ask me to leave and or call the police Whee! stress on monday here folks but i'm going over to this fucking hilton so cut a hard ride into this hilton but this is the new hilton resort here um so you have three Hilton properties here in the Philippines. Uh, if there's more, they don't show on the Hilton uh, website. You have this one, which is new. You have the Conrad uh, at Mall of Asia, and then you have the Hilton. I've stayed at the two in Manila, but I have not stayed at this particular Hilton property. And I'm not gonna take the camera inside because I don't have a reservation. Okay, folks, now listen, my, my mood is automatically reset because I stepped into that Hilton and I'm talking five-star service. I'm talking five-star service, uh, five-star attitudes, and I'm all of a sudden in a good mood again. That Hilton is a beautiful, beautiful property. Uh, the inside is brand new. It's immaculate everybody is uh, on time now if these dudes give me any shit we're gonna go to battle I'm not putting the camera down now okay your time in the Sun your two minutes of fame is over right there my security guard friends okay all right so anyhow that Hilton is awesome we're gonna be staying there I have some Hilton points and I also have a free uh, Shit, I got one free weekend night. And if you don't mess around, you know, if you don't pay attention on these points programs, they expire on you. Now, we've been kind of, uh, you know, letting this slide on stuff like that during this whole Ronda process, you know, extending the expiration date because you obviously couldn't go nowhere and you obviously couldn't use them. But these, I think this year, December 31st of 2022, I think mine expires. I'm not gonna let that happen, folks. I'm a redneck. I'm not gonna let anything like that expire. So I'm gonna come over here and burn up all my Hilton points and all my freebies and lay up at that resort. 
that's exactly what I'm going to do. And folks, if I was a little negative for a while there, all, you know, this is real life. This is a big old camera. It's not like an Ari Alexa or a Sony Venice or nothing like that, but it's not a cell phone. It's not even looks like a DSLR. It looks like a, a cross between a, it looks like a miniature cinema camera. That's what it looks like when you put the, the mic on the top and the wireless mic and all that. You know, and you can't get mad at them dudes. I mean, policy's policy, and they won't deviate from it, but sometimes you just ain't got patience for ridiculousness. Plus, they ain't the police. Okay, so now we're going to head over to this place. What's it called? Puning? Puning. 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 Puning, yeah. I like that name. Puning. Uh, so we cut her right here at this mini stop. And there's a new Thai foot and body massage over there. Uh, so anyhow, we will head over here to this Puning. It's a restaurant in Hot Springs. And you get like a sand massage, mud bath. There's a million videos out there on it, but I ain't never been there. And so my step one was just to come over here and check that out and check out the Hilton. Got all the answers I needed to ask and needed to know. You know, when you're rolling with two children, that's when you have to like be specific about things. Like, hey, how much is it for the kids? Can the kids go and do this or go on this ride or, you know? So you have to be, oh wow, beautiful lady right there. My goodness, Maganda, Maganda, Maganda. I see like we're going through another gate here, another trunk check. Security is tight. Now see, now we're back out into civilization. Did you see that change right there? Did you see that immediate change when we went out that gate? It's really like stepping into and out of another country when you come on to Clark or SBMA. And again, that's basically what you're doing. How can you tell? Well, there's a tricycle. How can you tell? Well. Just look at the surroundings. Okay, so we're snaking our way through here. A little bridge. Let's see if I can show you. Ooh, that's a pretty good drop right there. Might not kill you, but pretty broken tailbone. And then we're immediately coming up a hill. Zooming off to the left side doing some scrapping. Had a bunch of TVs in there. Pretty good score. If you're scrapping, end up with some TVs. Now, do you know what barangay we're in right now, man? Sabang Bato. Sabang? Sabang Bato. Oh, Sabang Bato. Yeah, River, oh. river Rock. River Rock. Yeah. Okay, Sabang Bato, which is a River Rock barangay. There you go. Sapang Bato Baranga Hall. Yeah. River Rock. River Rock. Yeah. Beautiful name. Beautiful lime green. Little jeep me off to the right side of the aircraft there. Sort of tight quarters coming through here, my friends. So if you drive this way, make sure you take it real slow. Exercise caution. You got people stepping in and out of these cars and jeepneys and trikes, these little stores. We got a beautiful church off to the right side of the aircraft. Uh, was it Holy Cross something? That gentleman got him an umbrella. Beautiful lady, off to the starboard side of the aircraft, trying to hide from the sun. 
This would be a nice ride to come out here on the motorbike if you got a motorbike. Get the heck out of Angeles City. Hello, ladies. Hello. <laughs> Folks, I got this big old camera. It does attract a lot of attention. That's the pros and the cons of shooting with a big, huge camera. You're getting a lot better footage. I mean, maybe not on this rough road uh, due to all the shakes and the rattles, but big camera attracts big attention. Small camera or cell phone attracts very little attention. All right, so cross the bridge. All right, you get that low line power line right there and they tie pieces of plastic bag on it to try to avert any big truck from hitting it. Truck comes through, you gotta get a dude on the top with a piece of bamboo to lift that wire up or they'll rip it down. All right, so big shout out to all my IT folks. That's the original Filipino. Yep. Yep, folks, the ITAs are the original local. the locals that were here, sort of like Native Americans. Americans are Indians, right? Yeah. Indians or Native Americans. See them so far behind the times on political correctness. I don't I don't know. Maybe I said something wrong. I don't know. Still tight quarters coming through here. Yeah, folks, really a beautiful drive out through here. And you know, when I'm filming and I'm on the camera or whatever, you're behind the lens, so to speak. I don't really pay attention to the route. But just the scenery wise it's a beautiful drive just get on your motorbike and come out to this place a little concrete house kind of quaint I like an old blue jeepney right there all jacked up four wheel drive kind of that, nice that's the used to go to put in four wheel drive that goes where? Oh, that oh, that's the ones out here at Pooning, right? Okay, so that's one of the Jeeps that you'll ride in. See, when you're behind the camera, sometimes your brain don't click. Your brain can't determine one and one equals two. Yeah, those are the Jeeps that you'll ride in out here at Pooning Restaurant. They do like a 30 minute uh, drive through the Lahar and the mountains and all that stuff. Somebody's goats are out over here, man. Almost there. Yeah. All right, folks. So, and just like that, we are here. Let's see if there's any guards here telling me to put the camera down. <laughs> no. Good. Only the Chinese. Only the fucking Chinese tell me to put my camera away. Hello. Right. All right, so maybe what we do, maybe we just uh, eat some lunch here. Yeah. You hungry? Yeah. You guys hungry? If I don't mind, you hungry? Yeah. They have a chicken there, chicken barbecue. They got chicken barbecue? Yeah. All right, folks, so here we are. We're at the Puning uh, Hot Springs and Restaurant. Now, let me give you a look around here before we go in. Whew, need to just slow things down. This is a day where I wish I was drinking beer, but I'm not. And the damn security guard pissed me off. This is a Toyota Land Cruiser. Uh, is it real or is it concocted? Most everything over here is handmade, right? But I'll just show you. Uh, it's got two two seats in the back right so I think it's good for five packs I, I don't know and you got some gentlemen over here with their Jeep so let me just show you what it looks like everybody over there is rushing me because they're hungry so here you go 
There you go. It's got a nice back seat, two back seats. And there you go right there. That's what you're going to be riding in, this four-wheel four -wheel drive jobber. All right, so let's go inside and see what the deal is. Sitio Target Sapangbato, Angeles City, up in the Philippines. All right, hey, how are you, my friend? Hello, how are you? All right, temperature check. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. And folks, let's take a look around. Beautiful, beautiful garden setting here. Man, let me just pan around slowly. Let's take the babies. Beautiful. And we're following this gentleman right here and see what the deal is. See what the deal is at Puning Hot Springs and Restaurant. And man, I sure hope the audio is still good because I swapped out the little wireless transmitters and they're not exactly uh, on the same decibel level. A little bit different. All right, so a little rock feature here, but there's no water. There's no water in the water feature. So we'll just come over here, check everything out. Pop the gain down, not the gain, pop down the uh, ND filter. So a little snack bar there, looks like they got beer, like a little sorry sorry store so to speak. Beautiful tables here underneath this wide pavilion. Okay, folks, so let me go over here and talk to this young lady right here. See what's going on. Hello. How are you? Hey, just wanted to get some information and maybe eat some lunch. Okay, it's okay if I make a YouTube video. I hope your camera will get me beautiful, sir. You look beautiful. I'm telling you, you look beautiful. And then uh, here, sir, we are only package. Okay. Our package is 3,000 pesos. Okay. Each person. All right, 3,000 for each person. Yeah. Okay. And then we have our minimum number of packs, which is five people. Okay, five. So our minimum requirements is 15,000 pesos. Okay, so 15,000. Okay. So we need to bring five people yeah. at 3,000 each. Yes. Okay. And that's include everything. That's include a four by four off road. Okay. It is thirty minutes travel going to Hot Spring. Okay, so thirty minutes in the Jeep going to the Hot Spring. Yes, sir. In okay. Hot Spring for today we have ten swimming pools with different temperatures. Okay. And it's up to you how how long you want to stay here, sir. It's your time. Okay. And then after enjoying Hot Spring, you're going to ride a four by four again. So our 4 by 4 sir is waiting in to the parking area only. Okay. So they will send you go back to Spa Station, approximately 15 minutes travel. Mm -hmm. And that is for hot volcanic sand spa and then cold volcanic mud pack. Oh, so you get a, you get the sand spa and the mud pack. Yes, sir. So I come out of there looking more guapo. Yes, Okay. Sir. Very All right. guapo and very young. Yeah? Yes. That's and why you look so young? Because you always go over there, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> and here, sir, another clothes will be provided for you. Okay. Okay. And estimated time, you will stay one hour. Okay, at the mud, at the mud, at the sand spa. spa. Yes, okay, sir. one hour. Yeah. And then while you have your mud pack on your whole body, our 4x4 driver will send you back here. Okay. So you will take shower here. You'll shower back here. Yes. And then we, we provide also the towels and bath soap, but it's up to you if you want to use them. Okay. And then while you're taking shower, we will prepare for your food. So we serve beef bulalo, chapsui, yeah. chicken in a sal, unlimited rice. Only rice? Yes. Oh, that's a good deal. And then after lunch, you're finished. Okay. And then we are open 8 o'clock in the morning, and that is the best time. Okay, at 8, 8, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. And that's the best time to come. You recommend getting here in early, early in the morning? Yes, sir. Okay. And then our last receive is 1 p.m. Okay. And then we are closed by 5 p.m. So 5 o'clock you're closed? Yes, sir. And oh. then, sir, we are by reservation. Much better you have your reservation. At least you can call or text to this number. 
Okay, so we need a reservation, call or text, and you have a website, right? A uh, Facebook page. Sir. A Facebook page, yes. okay. I thought you had a website. Uh, Facebook page is okay also. Just search Puning Hot Spring and Restaurant. Okay. And you can send also your reservation. Is a, is the a reservation mandatory or recommended? Actually, sir, it's recommended. Recommended, but but you really because really want us to make a reservation yes sir okay because we prioritize which, uh, which one who have the reservation okay understandable um i guess a couple more questions what about children can they go on the trip or no children or ch they're okay uh yes sir they're okay it's okay but they can get a discount once they accompanied by five packs full paying adults Okay, so if I have, if I have five paying adults, that's fifteen thousand, and then two children. How much extra for the ch yes, sir. children? For the children, uh, below eight years old, fifty percent discount. So the fifty percent off. Yeah. And if they're older, how much for them? Same price. As adult. That's an adult. Okay, yes. so any child under eight is is half half off. Half the price. Okay. All right, well, that's what I needed to know. And then much better, sir, you bring your own clothes for Br hot spring. Bring, your swimming wear. Bring swim trunks for the hot swing. It's yes, hot sir. spring, no yeah. No requirements anyway. You can wear t-shirt and shorts, rush oh. guard, okay. swimming wear. It's okay, sir. Uh, what day you recommend if people don't want the crowds? Monday? Like um, Monday, usually Tuesday? Usually Wednesday. Wednesday is a slow day? Yeah. Okay. Wednesday or Thursday, like that. Wednesday or Thursday? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Well, what's your name? I'm Grace, sir. Grace? Yes, sir. Okay. My name is Marcos. Sir Marcos. Yes. Very nice, nice to meet you, you. And thank you very much for the information. We were, we were just riding around, and I wanted to stop by and see. So. Sure, sir. So we'll make the reservation when we decide to come, and we'll be here at 8 in the morning. Yes, sir. Much better, sir. And much that's better. That's the best thing. Okay. All right. Well, August. do you want to give anybody a shout-out on my YouTube video? Hi. I just follow Mr. Marcos. <laughs> Folks, come on out here and see Miss Grace, but make your reservation up front. And uh, if you're looking for the least busy days, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to I'm going to go on the trip. But we're a little bit late in the day. We don't have reservations and I want to bring my friends with me. So that's why we're not going on it today. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Don. Thank you, sir. Okay, folks, there's a number you need to text if you want a reservation, and it's smart. So if you're on Globe and you don't have any load, you got to get load and uh, send them a text on smart or call or go on the Facebook page. Okay. All right, that's what we needed to know. Y'all ready to go? Baby, we're, we're not going to eat. It's part of the program. Okay, so no, there's no food here. Load them up. <laughs> Complain all you want, but there's no food. All that woman wants to do is eat. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Okay, and look, this, if you uh, wonder about accessibility, hold on, let me get the ND right. If you're wondering about accessibility, they just pull the Jeep up right here and you jump up on this thing right here. So it's pretty easy. Uh, if you're you know have some type of disability or less than nimble they'll help you get up in the back of there folks don't worry about it just bring your butt out here uh set up old dog bring your butt out here they'll help you get up in the back of the jeep i'm sure they will okay but just one more look around this place before i roll we're truly out here in nature it's quiet uh just nice to get away from the city. All right, let's load them up. Head on to the next spot. So, Fadi Man, you thought we was going to eat, right? <laughs> He's hungry. He's hungry. But, but listen, I wasn't playing a joke on you. I thought that this place was a restaurant as well. I mean, it is. But basically, all they're doing is catering the to the guests. Yeah. That's the way I just understood it. I mean, you could have went over there and ate some Pringles at that Sorry Sorry store. But uh, I thought we were going to eat. I told Fatima we was going to eat. But I'm not the one in charge. 
And here's a group of Ita folks about to roll out in the tricycle. Yeah. Tell his little babies here. Hello. Find them out back back here, scoping out the uh, trees. She scoped out a guava tree. Had a bunch of guavas on it. So if you live in this area and you're missing guava guavas off your tree, you got a prime suspect right in the back seat right here. You see that shirt says Barnett, El Paso, Texas. Yep. You see those shirts all, I saw those shirts in Thailand, like all over Thailand, just say over a decade ago. I've seen those all over Southeast Asia. And I thought they were Ukai Ukai from a truck stop. I thought Barnett was a truck stop. Maybe it is. I don't know. Well, you see those shirts all over the place. Maybe it's just a graphic that they're they ripped off the internet and they're printing. I I don't know. Well, that's what I thought. They're all ukai ukai, but it's like I've seen them all over Southeast Asia. It's like somebody dropped ten container loads of those things over here. That's a bar or? I don't know. I thought it was a truck stop, but I I don't know. But just strange, you see them all over. If anybody knows about that, leave it down in the comment section. Interesting. What is Barnett? It's obviously in El Paso. How did their t-shirts migrate to Southeast Asia in multiple, multiple places? Yeah, I understand the used clothing business, but There's a bunch of those shirts floating around here for some reason. One of those mysteries of life makes you just want to go to Margarita Station, get you a cold beer, stare out through the chicken wire, and try to figure out why shirts from El Paso are floating around Southeast Asia. Back across this here bridge. Okay, so on the other side of this wall is Clark. This side of the wall is not. That side of the wall is Clark. And this side is not. See the difference? So now we're gonna head back on to Clark. Back on Clark Air Base. Or tricycle. <laughs> yep, no trikes. You got plenty of new construction going on. And what do you see? Sidewalks. You know you're in America if you have sidewalks, mostly on both sides of the road. Welcome to America. The minute you go out that gate, good luck finding a sidewalk. sidewalks here if you were in a wheelchair you could actually drive on them and once you leave Clark uh, not so much that glass on the back of that jeepney man that's just making that hot <laughs> hey let's put uh, let's put glass in whatever you know you have a restaurant that's open air then you think, oh, I'm gonna put some glass in here. It just means it's that much hotter. Okay, so I will shoot off to the starboard side of the aircraft here. We'll check out this big building. Look at there, nice shady jeepney waiting area. So this factory, man, a lot of folks working at that factory. I don't know what it is. A lady working on her makeup, getting ready to go back for her shift. Nice big wide open road here. Sidewalk on the left side. Where am I? Am I in the Philippines? Oh, there's a Burger King sign. Drive through. Am I in America? If you just woke up and opened your eyes, you'd think so. If you're a military person, you'd be like, oh, I'm on base.
Whoa, big bumps in the road, folks. Footage might be a little shaky, but I'm not, that's because I'm not shooting on that GoPro. Obviously can't beat the stabilization on a GoPro or an iPhone. These days I'm going for depth of feel, better audio. I'm becoming a regular Steven Spielberg. Okay, so a little business center here, travel and leisure, Wyndham destinations. With a metro bank, the pavilion. Okay, here we go. Meat, coffee, bistro, Spanglish, right there. Spanglish restaurant. That is on the radar. Gotta hit my buddy Eric up and see if they've already ate over there at Spanglish. Maybe they have. Cause folks, they're big on food reviews, riding around, checking out new spots. If they have not went there, I'm gonna invite them to go because his wife, Mercy, is uh, Mexican and she prefers to be called Mexican American there you go again putting my foot in my mouth anyhow she speaks Spanish how about that and I hablo a little bit myself so we'll go over there to Spanglish see if anybody over there hablos it's habla <laughs> I figured I'd give you a couple seconds to hit me on that see if anybody habla espanol Porque me amo es Marcos. Soy de Estados Unidos. Y tengo mucho hambre. Please call the hangover, resto and amusement bar. Alright, got a little Cessna taken off from Omni over there. If I can zoom in on this guy. Got beautiful Mount Riot in the background. There we go. Alright, I got him locked locked on that Cessna for a second. The thing I should have pointed out to them gentlemen that every vehicle coming in and out of there has got some type of camera on it, right? Everybody, everybody's got a camera these days. They're recording everything anyhow. That little camera right there? So you got one of them cameras, right? Yeah, you got a camera. Every one of them new vehicles got cameras. They're all commercial vehicles, so they're recording for liability purposes. I told him, hey man, this, this, this is the taxi's camera right here that I'm holding. He's making sure he don't get into an accident. This guy pays me every day just to hold this camera to prevent a frivolous lawsuit. Okay, now on base. Okay, Better watch very closely. Now we're on the base. And you look over there, that's off the base. Okay, on the base. Take one more look. Nice and clean, curb, sidewalks. Sidewalk right there, on the base, off the base. There you go. Any questions on the difference? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just making observations. That's off the base right there. Now you're back, you're back in Angeles City. A little Riz Sled said, you know what, y'all be first right after me. Folks, this is a building we used to live in right here. This is Horizon Tower. We lived up right on that corner unit on the eighth floor. Shout out to all my friends there at Horizon Tower One. 1.7 million, you can have that black H2 Hummer back there. Black H2 Hummer for sale, 1.7 million. Parked in front of Horizon Tower One, or next to it. Oh, shoot. 